नमस्कार विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो वेलकम टू सेन आन्सर कोचिंग क्लासेस यूट्यूब चॅनल टू गेट मोर व्हिडिओ प्लीज सबस्क्राईब दिस चॅनल स्टुडंट्स टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट चॅप्टर ऑफ द मॅथमॅटिक पार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ नाईन्थ स्टँडर्ड द थर्ड चॅप्टर इज पॉलिनोमियल्स पॉली पॉली मीन्स मेनी हिअर मीन दॅट वी हॅव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पॉलिनोमियल्स नाव इन दिस वॉट इज मीन बाय पॉलिनोमियल नाव द पॉलिनोमियल मीन्स It is an algebraic expression. If the powers of the variables are whole numbers, mean that the powers of the variables are whole number, mean that zero, one, two, three, four, five, etc. Then that algebraic expression is called as the polynomial. Okay. Then there are types of the polynomials. First one is the monomial. Mono means only one. Means a polynomial having only one term. is called as the monomial for example here 5x square minus 15xy etc binomial by means two means a polynomial having two terms is called as the binomial for example here x raised to 4 plus twice x this is two terms here is m square plus 4m etc trinomial tri tri means three a polynomial having three terms is called as the trinomial there are three terms for example x square plus 4x plus 6 there are three terms p cube plus p square minus 5 etc degree of polynomial in one variable the degree of polynomial in one variable is highest power of that variable whatever highest power is called as the degree of that polynomial in one variable then second one is the degree of a non zero constant polynomial is Zero means that, for example, at twenty-five is non-zero constant number. Means that the degree of that twenty-five is zero. Then degree of zero polynomial is not defined. Degree of zero polynomial is not defined here. Then degree of polynomial in more than one variable. In this case, we discuss here only one variable. There is more than one variable at that time. The degree of polynomial in more than one variable is the highest sum of the powers of the variables. Sum of the powers of the variable in each term so obtained. In each term so obtained. Now, for example, we take here x cube y raised to six plus three x square y plus three x y square plus y raised to six. Student, here we take its sum, highest sum of the powers. Here, here is sum is three plus six is nine. Here is sum is two plus one is three. Here is one plus two becomes also three. Here is six. Mean that here is the highest, highest value is this one. Mean that three plus six is nine. Mean here I write sum of the powers in x and y is three plus six. Mean that highest is equal to nine. Therefore, the degree of such polynomial is how much? Okay, we take the next point. Okay, then take the next point here. Types of polynomial. Student, if the polynomial in one variable, at that time there are three types here: linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial, and cubic polynomial. What is my linear? A polynomial of degree one is called as the linear polynomial. Degree is one here. For example, at five x plus three twenty one p etc. Now the general form of this polynomial. Uh, this Linear polynomial is a x b a x plus b, where a and b are the constant and a is not equal to zero. Then quadratic polynomial, a polynomial of the degree two is called as the quadratic polynomial. And the standard form of this, in that the general form of this polynomial is a x square plus b x plus c, where a b c are the constant and a is not equal to zero. For example, x square plus y x plus six. Another one is m square plus 10m plus 25 etc. Next one, cubic. Mean that degree is three. Mean that the polynomial of degree three is called as the cubic polynomial. The general form of this is a x square a x cube cubic here for cube plus b x square plus c x plus d is equal to zero. Where a b c d are the constant and a is not equal to zero. Example. Y cube plus 3y square plus 5y minus 15, and 5x cube plus 9x square plus 10x plus 5. Mean that in cubic polynomial there are how many terms? Four terms. 
coulombs at the at the time degree is 3 m polynomial means a n x raised to n plus a n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 next one is a n minus 2 raised to into x raised to n minus 2 up to a 2 x a a 2 x raised to 2 plus a 1 x raised to 1 plus a 0 is a polynomial in x with degree is n with degree is n here a n a n minus 1 a n minus 2 a n minus 3 up to a 2 a 1 a 0 are the coefficients and a n is not equal to 0 then the standard form of the polynomials now there are three types here standard form index form and the coefficient form of the polynomial here first one is standard form of the polynomial now let any polynomial is given 3x square plus twice x raised to 4 plus 5 is any one polynomial student when we arrange this in descending order then we write this x raised twice x raised to 4 first then this term 3x square and then this last term plus 5 this is descending order here now this descending order is called the standard form of the polynomial mean that you have to write in the descending order then index form now this is the standard form of the polynomial we write the polynomial including the missing terms here here is twice x raised to 4 this missing term is cube here so we take coefficient as 0 into x cube plus this 3x square here is also one term is missing that 0 into x raised to 1 and 5 is the constant this is called as the index form of the polynomial then student coefficient form of the polynomial coefficient we have to write first index form of the given polynomial means first you have to write in this standard form then index form and then coefficient form now this is index form here twice x raised to 4 plus 0 x cube plus 3 x square plus 0 x plus 5 is represented as so here the coefficient 2 here is comma 0 here is plus 3 here is 0 here is 5 should and if there is minus sign then you have to give that corresponding coefficient as minus sign this form of the polynomial is called as the coefficient form of that polynomial ok we take the practice set Let's take the practice at 3.1 of the chapter polynomial. The first question is state whether the given algebraic expression are polynomials or not. Justify your answer. Student, when the algebraic expression is polynomial, if the power is positive integer, then it is a algebraic expression rather than it is not algebraic expression. Look at this one is y plus 1 upon y. Now this 1 upon y you write as y raised to minus 1 so that this is not a polynomial mean that this expression is not a polynomial not a polynomial because 1 upon y we write here y raised to minus 1 the power the power is not not positive integer ok look at the second also here is 2 minus 5 root of x root of 5 root of x means 1 upon x raised to 1 upon 2 this is also not a positive this is not this is positive but not integer so that this is not a polynomial because in 5 root x we write here 5 x raised to 1 upon 2 the power power is is not integer because this is positive number so we are right here not integer then third one is x square plus 7 x plus 9 look carefully here is this power is a positive integer so that therefore it is a polynomial because the power is is positive integer then we take the fourth one is look at here twice 2 into m raised to minus 2 minus 2 is present therefore this is 
नॉट अ पॉलिनोमियल बिकॉज इन माइनस टू द पावर इज पावर इज नॉट पॉजिटिव इंटीजर so that this is not a polynomial and this one is the here this is constant polynomial so that answer is it is a polynomial can you understand this the question second is the coefficient of write the coefficient of m2 in each of the following polynomial in that given polynomial the first question is m2 its answer is so simple look carefully we have to write the coefficient of m2 means here the coefficient of m cube is how much 1 okay this is second one is answer of this one is this is minus 3 upon 2 plus m minus root 3 m cube this is m cube this is the coefficient so that the coefficient of m cube is minus root 3 look here very sign is minus so gives minus root 3 in this example minus 2 upon 3 m cube minus 5 m square plus 7 m minus 1 now the answer of it is the coefficient Any other degree here? Okay, thank you very much.